Right, so let's move on to cuttings then. Now, taking cuttings is not something that I would generally do at this time of year, I don't think. It's a bit early for me. I like to do mine in the sort of summer, maybe May, June through to sort of September time. Uh, but I've got this plant. This is a plant called Colin Martin, which I bred not too long ago, a few years ago. But I think it's one of the best dwarf plants that I've ever grown. It's a pure double white, grows very well, um, flowers relatively early, but it's a pure white. No, no matter how much sunshine you put on, it stays pure white as well. But I actually uh, put one plant of it in a basket last year, and I was convinced that I had another one of it. Um, I sort of, I always get rid of my baskets annually, I don't retain them. Uh, so I, I sort of dump the basket in the, in the compost bin and then suddenly realised that I didn't have another one. So I had to get this from Colin Martin himself because I gave him a plant of it. Uh, it's named after a, an uncle, uh, my, one of my wife's uncles. And so I, he, he thankfully had a, had a good plant of it, which I retain and have kept over the winter and it's grown on. But I need to get a good number of cuttings from this now uh, and give him the original back when it's grown on a little bit, when it's grown back a bit. There are plenty of videos about me taking zonal cuttings in the playlist. So if you want to have a look at others uh, about taking cuttings, please do so. Now, the first thing that obviously you need to do is ensure that there is a little bit of dampness in the root. Normally, when we cut back, I always explain, don't I, uh, ensure that the plant is on the dry side when you do it. Uh, but yeah, just be a little bit careful. You want it a little bit damp because you want the, uh, the cutting material to be sort of turgid, solid, strong, uh, and not limping anyway. And this is perfect. This is just a bit damp, but not soaking wet, um, so that it should heal off. Once I finish the video, the glass house will be opened up. It's meant to be showery today, so I may have to go in and out. Now, what we do first, I'll take the cuttings. We'll let them seal off, um, which is always the thing that I do, of course. Then I'll sort of do some pots, show the compost I use. It's not too much different from my normal compost, to be quite honest. Okay, so I've closed right in now. Hopefully we can sort of see what's going on here. Uh, now the first thing I'm going to do actually is just take a couple of leaves off so that we can get in there and uh, sort of have a look. I want to get it quite a number of uh, cuttings from this plant. So I am going to probably use the majority of these stems. Now the one thing that we will need to do, I will probably cut take the cutting first but we'll be getting rid of all these blooms now in here but we've got we've got a a break coming through there a nodal break a nodal break there a nodal break there if you've got uh, an area that which is sort of covered with leaf you will often see little sort of breaks of root beginning to come uh, from the plant further down so I, I don't there's a nodal break there so I'm not going to go quite that deep. There's one underneath as well. It's breaking like crazy, this, this plant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut. You see there's a node line there. And a, this is a clear node line with a break both above and below. So I'm going to go just above that. There we are. And there we are, clean as a whistle. Lovely clean stem, right? So we'll we'll put that we'll put that apart. Just drop that over there for now. Let's get the cutting material off first, and then we'll discuss what we're going to do with them. As I say, you want to go up just above a node each time. You do have to though when you're taking cuttings. Think how much of the stem is going to be pushed down into the uh, the body of the compost that you're going to be using. I've got a nodal break there, you can see, and so, and I've got one coming through the other side, just below, so I'm going to take a cut there. You're always cutting above the nodal break on the stem, so just remember that. But there's a nodal break there, there's another one coming through on the other side. You've got one already growing below it, look. And there's another, again, we'll tidy up the cuttings 
a, in a moment. So I'm just above another noble joint. And there we are. I've sacrificed uh, a, quite a good strong nodal joint coming out there, but I've got so many coming out all down through these stems, I'm not concerned at all. Now this one, you can see on here, I've got nodal joints breaking out all over the place. So I'm probably going to go above that one just to keep the plant in balance as well. I'm going to take out. It was not very good, was it? Nice slice of hand there. Right, so I'm going to go across like that. You will see the blood oozing out. I have just sliced my hand. <laughs> right, now the one thing that I do have to say is be very careful with knives because I just totally sliced my finger and there it is, I've had to patch it up. Uh, I don't often do that these days, but uh, yeah, I did it in this case. So, right now with this one, this is quite straightforward, this one here. I'm going to cut just below that nice breaking node there. So there we go. This is a good cutting. Slice that through there. So we've got another one there. Now you will notice this is all sulphur. And I needed to do this on this plant during the winter. This is quite an interesting one because we've got a side shoot here growing through. You can see here where I've taken that. We've got a little node that's just breaking there. We indeed got another one there. There's two off that one. So I think that's fine. That's balanced that quite nicely. Then we got this. This is probably going to be the last one that I do. This one here. And there we are. So although I'm taking cuttings from myself, I'm thinking of the, the, the original plant. Um, now I am going to break that bloom off because we want it to just calm down a bit in a couple of days. That will get, you know, that will become a, a really nice plant. There are so many breaks on this coming through. I'll just balance it off marginally by Snapping off that leaf. You could argue that I might give it a stop as well. I'm just going to stop that one there. Just again to balance it off. I'm also going to nip that leaf off there. Um, that's been cut back quite nicely. It's all balanced off. That will just seal off now and grow into a really nice plant. Right, so let's concentrate now then on our cuttings. Now, here we go. Uh, we've got, this was the slightly longer one. Now, the first thing we need to do, get rid of any bloom. Um, I'll just plop them over there for now. Uh, there's not really a great deal more that we need to do with this cut. Put the leaf over there. So you're going to be getting rid of all of the lower leaves. Get rid of the stipules, which we can cut off. I thought that would have come off a bit easier than that. So we've got a lower stem here. And we just need to take that little side shoot that was coming off. Slice that down. Now the important thing as well that I do not use, I do not use any sort of hormone rooting or anything like that for zonals. I, I just don't think they need it. Uh, so I'm just tidying up. The actual node, you can see, runs in a line like that and it's just below that node that you want to go. Not by much, millimetre or so is, is fine. Just tidying that up. Going to get rid of the stipules. Can use your knife to do that if you wish. But the key thing now is ensuring that this thoroughly dries out. And the reason you're going to do that 
is primarily to stop any bacterial infection coming in from the compost. And that comes out in the form of a leaf gall. And, but if you ensure that your cutting is really sealed, you should generally be okay. I'm not saying it's a foolproof method of ensuring that it'll be okay, but nine times out of 10, it will prevent uh, the leaf gall bacteria from getting into, uh, into your cutting from the compost. All right, next one. Snap that one off. Snap the bloom. They should be quite turgid, these cuttings. Now, the thing is, this variety is very, very short-jointed, so I'm not hardly having to do anything more. I'm not having to do much in the way of cutting up from the, um, the cuts that I took the cutting from. They're almost perfect. Now, this one's got a side chute coming out there. It's got a couple there breaking through. Now, it's borderline that they are a bit low. Uh, but I think I will leave those. Again, let's just ensure that that seals off. Snap the leaf off. You don't want too many leaves, two or three. Um, you don't want the plant to really sort of get overly uh, stressed. So I've taken that one down to two. We've got a leaf, we've got a, a, a bloom just forming there. Now this one just needs to go down to the node line, which is a bit further up. Now, see all these little bumps here? These are actually root nodes already breaking through. And on zonals, particularly on lower stems that are going down deeper, um, you will get these little roots forming. And realistically, you know, you don't want to be cutting those off. You don't need to because roots will form out of those. So because we've got a few of those, particularly over this side, I will leave that like that. That's going to root pretty quickly, that one. There's the next one. It's three. This one's got a little stem growing out of that braid, but that's cut to the line perfectly. And look at all these. This is roots forming already. So that should root really quickly, that one. Now this one again, this is another one with roots already sort of beginning to develop. You only get this from uh, the zonal group. You do not get this on regals, which is unfortunate. And it's one of the reasons why the regal family takes so long to root. Because you don't get these sort of root breaks coming. I'm going to, I've got a little side shoot on there, cut that off. I'm going to tidy that um, where there was a bloom. So put some stipules there, which we'll just sort of take out. These should snap that fairly well. But that again is a, is a really good cutting. Here is our long one that we took. Uh, I'm just going to snap that off there. Snap the bloom, snap that. And we've got this big sort of side shoot coming out there, which we are going to need to lose because that's going to go below the depth of the compost. A little bit of trimming back from taking that stem off. And we're going to have to cut up here, back to the line of the node. So there's the line of the node. You can see it because there's a stipule break there. So just sort of cut across. Go careful, I'm going very slowly when I sort of reach the other side of it. Just so you don't cut yourself like I did earlier. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually done that in a long, long time. So I'll try to do it hastily. But we got some nodal break, uh, some root nodes already beginning to break there. I will probably need to take that leaf off. Now we've got a, a stem you can see beginning to grow out here. And I'm going to leave that because it will be pushed up to about the level of that stem. And I 
that can form part of the new plant. And there we are, we've got eight cuttings. Um, relatively straightforward. Right, so the first thing I've done, I've opened up a couple of windows, it's brightened up, uh, it's blowing a gale outside, uh, but I just want these cuttings to seal off. Uh, now they should seal quite quickly, to be honest, um, because it's, it's warmed up in here a bit now. It's up to about 18 because I've got the glass house shut and the sun has come out, the, the rain's cleared. Um, uh, but what I use for my cuttings are these small pots. Two, four, six, eight. There we are, I've got eight of them. They're all clean, of course, and washed. Now the compost I use is a very light mix. It's the very fine silver grow, uh, peat free. Uh, but mixed, um, there's only a less than 50%, about 40% of that, and then 30% of horticultural sand and 30% of uh, perlite. Uh, so it's a very open light mix, which dries out relatively quickly, and that's what I use uh, for my cuttings. I want something that dries through, doesn't stay wet for very long if you water, uh, and that's important. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to write eight labels for these. I've got the compost ready, and uh, during this time, it will, ooh, during this time, you can see the wind blowing through. Um, these should seal off and we can get on and pot them. Right, so I'm just getting this compost uh, into these pots. Now you can firm this down relatively sort of hard. Uh, I think I, I've explained, I have known growers in the past absolutely ram this down and the cuttings find a way of, uh, the roots of the cuttings find a way of penetrating it. It's quite remarkable really. So you can firm it, you know, I don't do it massively hard, but you can firm it down fairly tight. So that's worth noting. If we take a look at some of these, um, they have gone a pale colour. They've sealed off completely in less than a half an hour because uh, it's blowing. The temperature has warmed up in the glass house now as well. So they're sealed up and they're ready to go in. So it's not too difficult. I use basically the end of my um, knife here and I just literally just burrow down slightly just to make a start. You don't want a lot of air underneath them, so I just make a start with that and push it down, in this case, to that node that's just I just want, in this case, above the soil line there in this one. And I'm just going to firm around it. And that's the first one out the way. I'll just park that over there. Well, this one's got a really lovely root system on it, already beginning to break through. So just again, just a little start. And this one, you can see the bloom break there is sealed off as well, which is what we're wanting. So that can be pushed all the way down to the, the first leaf. So that's about an inch or two centimeters below the soil line, that one. Sorry, I'll come down a bit. So that's about an inch or two centimetres below the soil line. That's perfect. I will put a label in this time. Put a label in the other one as well. Colin Martin. Now, I know the question that everybody's going to ask. So what do you do with watering? Well, these will not be watered for a day or two. This is, again, ensuring that the wounds are fully, fully sealed. There is a little bit of dampness in the compost, but not a great deal. And so there's no need to water these. They haven't got any roots. There's nothing to nourish the plant itself. So here's the next one. That's all clean and it's totally sealed off. Push that down. Again, just gone up to the lowest leaf, about two, two and a half centimetres that's been pushed down into. They will wilt slightly, um, but don't worry about that. They're all cover. It's all sealed off. It's 
one down and just literally plodding them in. And we've got a break there, so I'll just put that up to the sort of line of that break. Now these, yeah, zonals, I mean, talking of rooting quickly, these will root relatively quickly in any warmth that we get. These will prop, some of these will root within a fortnight. Right, so there we are, there's our cuttings taken, just to the debris. Uh, what I will do, I'll put these on a tray. They will go indoors, and the reason it's in, I'm gonna take them indoors is because I wanna open up the glass house uh, and it's a little bit cool, ideally, to get cuttings going. So initially, I'll probably put them on our kitchen window, uh, which is shaded, north-facing. Uh, after two or three days, then, I will probably transfer them to our south-facing um, bedroom window, which will just sort of spur them on a bit. But I think these are root really quickly, and I'll show you when they do, obviously. Uh, so that's just about it. I think we're done for today. It's gone on long enough, the video. Now, the one thing that I will be doing sort of relatively soon, I've got to do it soon, is get my um, ivy leaf basket potted up. Uh, so we'll do that together. Probably I'll need to do that next week. So I'll probably look at that with you next week. Um, in the meantime, I hope that everything's beginning to grow well for you. If you've got any questions at all, just chuck them in the uh, comments below and I usually try to answer them uh, as best I can. I'm going to do a number of shorts. I have got one or two plants flowering, so I will get some shorts of those uh, on both this channel and my own channel uh, for Mr Pelagonian. Uh, in the meantime, all the best with the uh, spring growing and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.